Hello, Rob from Films in Pen Journey with a review of the Pen BBS 491 Moon River Fountain Pen. Now, this sold out, it's a typical story for Pen BBS. If you find something on Etsy that they have in stock and you and you like it, then good luck, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> but often Pen BBS pens sell out within hours of being released on uh, on Etsy. Um, this Moon River acrylic is basically a green cracked ice um, acrylic and I have seen this exact material in a few other pens over the years. Um, I have a Delight Classic Alpha in green cracked ice which is essentially the same material and it's a really really nice material. Let's have a look at it. So there is basically chunks of this green material, white material, green edges, the chatoyancy in there, I'm going out of focus a little bit, let's try and get this back. It's a really nice colour, there's a bit of blue in there as well, really, really lovely material and I think that this pen particularly shows it off. As the pen BBS 491, it is a cartridge converter pen which comes with a cartridge, um, but it is actually made for eyedropper ink and it holds five mils of ink, so huge ink capacity. It's a decently sized fountain pen. Uh, I'll do comparisons in a little while, but it's actually good quality. And I bought this pen BBS 491 over a year ago and I've been using it quite a lot. And as many of my viewers who followed me over my years doing fountain pen journey will know that I've been a bit underwhelmed by pen BBS fountain pens, certainly in recent years. I think at the start I was, yeah, pen BBS fountain pens are great, fantastic value, really nice acrylics, nice designs. Um, and then I started using, I bought many of them, started using them a lot. And actually, I found the nibs, yeah, they're fine. Uh, they work, but they tend to be dry and very fine. Um, and just not pleasurable to write with. And it's put me off. Um, the other thing that's put me off pen BBS fountain pens is some of their rather dodgy filling systems. People will go on about Twisby cracking, the Twisby Eco cracks, you know, why would you buy that? I've never had one of those, but I've had plenty of pen BBS pens which don't have very good writing systems. The, the, the nibs work, but they're just dry and fine. However, their fancier filling systems, and they've gone down the line of magnet, magnetic fillers and oh, all, all sorts of different filling mechanisms, which have not been in my honest opinion, very well designed and I've avoided them because it's almost like they've sold prototypes and then everyone goes, oh, but by the way, the piston sticks and it gets stuck and then you have to dismantle the pen and then the piston never works again. Yeah, if that was any other brand, I'm sure that people would be like, oh, I'm not buying any more of these. So Pen BBS have not had a good last few years. But this pen, I like it, and it's a simple thing because it's a cartridge converter that you can eyedropper. There's nothing really mechanical that Pen BBS can make go wrong with this, and it's a good writer, and the nib is actually all right. I'm quite pleased with it. So the 491, it's, it's a decently long pen. Let me get a... Oh, I'll use this. This is the new Lamy All-Star petrol fountain pen, so basically it's the same length. Uncap the pens. Very, very similar. Oops, let me move, move these up. There we go. So pretty much the same size as Alami All Star. And the Pen BBS 491 does post, and it posts quite securely. So, yeah, overall, pretty much Lamy Safari, Lamy All-Star dimensions. It's the 491, Pen BBS 491. It's 
very very comfortable in the hand it's a cylindrical pen there is a nice slightly tapered section with a flare flared out end at the bottom it's quite a small section so you do feel these threads up here and there is a step up but it's not a sharp step up it's rounded so it's actually quite comfortable to hold decent length nice girth very nice comfortable pen for using for long writing periods and we have got this conical finial up here and it's all the same material which is really nice we've got this clip which i'm not a fan of i don't like these pen bbs clips they they've got quite sharp corners um it's worse than the parker arrow clips and that that point there that is particularly sharp there is a bit of a burr on there it you know i don't know if you can hear that yeah it's it, it's sharp I'm, I'm not a fan at all of this type of clip on pen bbs fountain pens so it's basically a torpedo shaped fountain pen and it does taper down on the barrel to a matching conical finial down here and of course the barrel is all one piece and it's it's great because it is perfect for eyedroppering so you've got all of these threads i'm not going to take this apart because it'll turn into one awful mess but this whole barrel you fill it with ink Put some silicone grease on the thread, screw the section back in, and you've got five mils of ink capacity to write away with. And of course, these pens tend to come with fine steel nibs, which I shall show you in a minute. Um, so they're quite economical with ink. So you've got a pen which is going to not read, not require refilling for some considerable time. So let me get my notepad here. I just realised I've got all sorts of notes in here which don't even relate to fountain pens. So let me just tear these out because we don't need that. So here we go. Blank canvas. Rhodia pad. Oh, yes, yes. Uncapping, uncapping. Okay, so one it's about one and three quarter turns to uncap so pretty pretty good pen bbs 491 and this is the moon river acrylic this is a fine steel nib standard fare then it's, it's it's good it's smooth so let's do the writing sample and then i'll talk to you a little bit about why i actually like this nib This is why I like this nib, because for a pen BBS fountain pen, this nib is really, really quite wet. I mean, that doesn't look particularly wet there with the smear test, but I will be absolutely honest and say that this is one of the better pen BBS nibs that I've had. Um, reverse writing is possible. It's a little bit on the dry side. It's not overly scratchy. Extra, extra fine, but it is very, very, very dry. But that's only for the artists and those people who really, really need to use an extra, extra fine sort of nib. And I'm really happy uh, with the way that this nib writes. It is very smooth. It's very consistent. You know, I've never had any hard starts, even when it's been unused for a long time. Um, no skipping, nothing like that really good 
the ink is Octopus Ink's Teeth Green. That was me. Teeth Green being dark green in German. And I like it. I think it. I think this is a really, really good fountain pen. It's certainly been in my everyday carry at home for many, many months now. Um, and I, I, I think it's a good fountain pen. So definitely would recommend the Pen BBS four nine one um, to anybody who wants this type of fountain pen. Good eye dropper, reliable. Oops, was reliable. Um, and it's yeah it, it ticks all the boxes for me so i'm very happy i mean the the clip that pointy clip is one thing that i'm not particularly enamored with but i think it's a really good pen and this cracked ice finish this the acrylic green cracked ice which they call moon river um is a really really lovely acrylic really love it so thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time Bye.